19th century, princes and kings decked their tables with mice and porcelain. Centuries later, it's still considered the royal standard. The mice and porcelain factory, some 30 kilometers northwest of Dresden, produces delicate works of art. In line with proud mice and traditions, company employees are still molding, glazing, and painting each piece by hand. What has always set Meissen apart is the handcrafted quality. That's certainly something we've cultivated over three centuries. Everything here is made by hand. And you don't just see it, you sense it when you hold it in your hands. It's all been perfectly crafted, down to the smallest detail. Alchemist Johann Friedrich Böttke is known as the inventor of European porcelain. Frederick Augustus, Prince Elector of Saxony, originally commissioned him to make gold. Instead, Böttke developed porcelain. His lab notes are still part of the company archives, which document Meissen porcelain's 300-year history. Just holding it in your hands, it's a kind of bridge through time. Without this document, or without what it documents, we wouldn't be here. In 1739, the factory started selling blue onion porcelain, considered Meissen's most famous pattern. Many 18th century nobles ordered their own custom-made porcelain. Today, these pieces are quite valuable, particularly for collectors like Kurt Krockenberger. His private museum in Stuttgart features more than 1,000 porcelain items. To him, the founding of the Meissen factory 300 years ago constitutes a very special anniversary. The creation of Meissen porcelain was certainly huge. When you consider that porcelain came from China and was very expensive, it was a fortunate and particularly significant invention. Kurt Krockenberger only collects antique porcelain, including a number of rare items, such as the world's smallest Meissen table service from 1911. It's worth about 1.5 million euros. This clock was an elaborate custom-made piece for the house of the Saxon prince. It's just unimaginable. This clock consists of 250 parts. The flowers have 150 petals. It's a tremendous amount of work. We don't make them like this anymore. The crossed swords have long been the Meissen trademark. The company gets the raw china clay used to create its porcelain locally. The factory processes about 300 tons each year. Creating Meissen's so-called white gold requires two rounds of glazing and firing. We take the material we get from around Meissen and add high heat. We fire it at 1400 degrees, much higher than other manufacturers, and that creates a special density for Meissen porcelain, helping the white brilliant colors stand out. Despite the enduring popularity of traditional Meissen patterns, the company's inventory also features more modern styles. But for Kurt Krockenberger, nothing beats the beauty of antique items. He's convinced that quality craftsmanship is what matters, whether the porcelain is classic or modern. There's truly a Meissen look. You can tell from five or even ten meters away that it's Meissen porcelain. Because Meissen invented its own colors, the luminous quality, the depth. People always think that it's painted under the glaze, but it's actually on top of it. I think the secret to Meissen's success is the quality. The art of German porcelain, still going strong after 300 years.